Beat Depression, it's day 665, and we're staying alive with another round of Somatic Healing Sessions to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later, appreciate you guys and girls out there. As you know, we focus in on mental health tools, and those first mental health tool I want to talk about is that gratitude tool. Gratitude going out to the first one in here, which is Mad With Hats. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for being consistent. Thank you for showing up for yourself and for others and for sharing that progress with the world. Yes, you made it on right on time, man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Uh, also, shout out gratitude to Simon Amaze for the positive support. To Addison Ball uh, dot travel. Thank you for the support as well. Hello, nurse. Thank you for being here. Silky one. Thank you as well. You're all part of my gratitude section today, and I'd like you guys to practice that gratitude tool as well. Go ahead and think about. Just ask yourself the question what you have to be grateful for today. And then if you can think of something, you can say it out loud, you can write it down on a piece of paper, further enhancing that gratitude tool. Um, studies have shown that even asking ourselves that question of what we have to be grateful for can help rebalance that brain and help us find a more positive outlook in life. So even if you can't find an answer, just asking the question is an important step when it comes to that gratitude tool. So you are all, all of those tuning in today, supporting each other and supporting the cause. You're all what, uh, part of my gratitude section today, and that is our gratitude tool. Uh, Mad with Hat said, he's grateful for the air I breathe today, brother, for real. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't have access even to fresh air. A lot of people are not breathing anymore. So it's, it's not a bad idea to be grateful for these things that a lot of people are taking uh, for granted. Gratitude helps us appreciate life, appreciate the little things, and those little things are important, just as important a bit as the big things sometimes. So, thank you for that, thank you for sharing that gratitude. The next mental health tool we're gonna talk about is our list tracking tool, our progress tracking tool. So, keep track, this show is designed to be a daily accomplishable goal that you can do uh, at any skill level. If you show up for you, or you push to your level and challenge yourself to your level, you can give yourself a challenge every single day you can refine those martial arts, learn new things, open up roads for new progress. But the main thing is making sure that it's accomplishable and then keeping it fun is another priority. But making sure it's an accomplishable goal that we can do every single day. So our program is nine minutes long of higher intensity exercise. But even if you only do one round, which is three minutes, or even if you only do one minute of physical exercise, that's one minute of progress. That's one minute headed in the right direction. That's one minute of accomplishment and it's one minute more than most are doing for themselves. So it's important that we keep track of that progress and give yourselves credit for the endurance and the strength that it takes just to be here, just to show up day after day. And then not only that, give yourself credit for the fact that you're putting in work to improve your life and the lives of others. So please do keep track of that daily accomplishment number. It only grows longer, larger the longer you practice it. And even if you miss a day, we don't fall off the wagon. We don't lose progress here when it's mental health. Our number only goes up. We only get more and more proof of how strong we are and how much we can overcome those debilitating effects of depression. Uh, Hello Nurse says, I've been out of commission, but glad to be back on with day 15. That's what I'm talking about. Even if you had something happen, or you went through a really dark or blue period, or you got into some physical uh, something, right, that affected you and you weren't able to be here, the last couple of days, it doesn't reset. You don't fall off the wagon here. You don't go back to zero. We're not starting from the beginning. We still have all this proof, right? We still have all this proof of what we have done and what we can look forward to doing in the future. So please do keep track of that number. It's a very powerful number. Shout out as well to Dawn of the Living and Lisa the Luminary. And I wanna take a moment, special shout out to Lisa the Luminary because today, we're talking about this number tool right now, Lisa. Today is your one year of consecutive progress and success. One year anniversary of joining this program and being a part of our team out here, our growing social support system. And you've been inspiring others with your progress, sharing that progress with the world. And today is a special occasion. It's your sack anniversary. It's, it's that one year mark of progress and success for Lisa. 365 days of consecutive progress. Good stuff, Lisa. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I wish we were here all together in person and we could have cake or something, throw you a party. It'd be kind of dope. But uh, thank you again, Lisa. You're definitely a special shout out there uh, for that consistency. And to everybody else, this is what we're capable of, right? It's not just me out here putting up 
big numbers. Lisa's putting up those big numbers. Uh, Mad with Hats up there over 100 days already. Uh, Slayer Ken's up there in 200 mark. Uh, we, we know this is not an impossible task. When we make it the right way, we train smart, train the right way, aim for that flow zone, make sure it's fun, make sure it's accomplishable, then it's, this is not an impossible number. This is a number that a lot of people are going to be able to use in their lives. So. Thank you so much. And to those of you, I see those comments coming in, supporting each other, congratulating each other. That's good stuff. Lisa said 365 seems so unreal to me. Yeah, Lisa, like the numbers, if we didn't keep track of them, it's so easy not to give ourselves credit for how far we've come. I find that in life. If you're not keeping track, if you're not taking note of your accomplishments, of the things that you're doing, of the progress that you're making, it's easy to forget the progress that you're making. It's easy to forget how far you've come. But it's so important, especially when we're dealing with mental health issues, to give ourselves credit because the thing that depression wants almost the most is for you to feel like a victim, is for you to feel helpless out here. And when we stand up and fight forward for ourselves, we prove as a matter of fact that we are not helpless. We are more than capable of moving forward. So please do keep track of that progress. Please do, uh, that way you can give yourself the credit and share it with others so they can be inspired as well. Uh, I hear you glad that we're both here and to breathe that beautiful air. That's gratitude coming in from Hello Nurse. Thank you for that. She said, ooh, that's awesome. Huge congrats, a huge inspiration. Uh, there you go. Hello Nurse has been inspired by Lisa Luminary. As the rest of us, I've been inspired by you too, Lisa. Uh, sometimes it's tough feeling alone, physically alone, out there on the road but Lisa's been a steady rock for over a year and can't thank you enough for that. So, that being said, if you wanna share how you're feeling about that later, um, please do in the comments section on YouTube since all of our daily videos are going up on YouTube now uh, for higher quality content at Zach Life Daily on YouTube. So, Lisa, if you got something to share with the world, please share it there. That way the world can have access to it and not just the people on Instagram anymore. We're gonna to have to get out there, get around a little bit more since depression doesn't discriminate or restrict itself to one group. We want to make sure we're giving everybody we can the access to those free tools as well. Shout out as well to the family support from my aunt Kathy. Thanks, Kathy. Love you. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you, Lisa, for all your progress again. And that's enough. We talked about gratitude. We talked about, what was the other one? <laughs> the progress tracking tool. We talked about gratitude, progress tracking tool. Now let's get into today's lesson. Today we're going to think about the measuring jab a lot. And we cover the measuring jab in the past, and we'll talk about the measuring jab a little bit. And we're going to use that jab to set up a few of our combos. And we're going to work a little bit of defense as well, checking some kicks. We'll be working from Muay Thai Stance. Stance guide's available on Martial Arts for Mental Health page at sacklifeofficial.com. Down at the bottom you'll find a guide on all of our stances. So you can be fully prepared for any single, any class that we're doing in general, 99% of the time. Uh, so for Muay Thai stance, we're going to want to square up with our dummy. If you don't have a Bob dummy stand in, then you can visualize, and that's what we've been doing for so much time, visualize that depression dummy in front of you, assign it the word depression or anxiety, one of those things that you want to work on for today. Um, by taking note of that term, by taking note that it is the depression dummy and visualizing it, we can consciously acknowledge what we subconsciously do every day, which is knock those lies right out of his stupid face. So visualize that depression dummy. Square up the shoulders and hips with them. Nice squared stance. Step forwards into your balanced Muay Thai stance, shifting that weight forwards and backwards as you move around. We'll be moving around a lot today. If you've got the space at home, I suggest you do the same. When we're moving now, we're moving as fighters. We're no longer moving around like normal pedestrians out here. We're capable we're powerful, we're fighters, so we're gonna move like fighters. So the way that fighters move is we're always staying in balance. We always wanna keep that body balanced, that body weight shift centered and secure, nice and planted on the balls of the feet. So from your Muay Thai stance, when we take a step forwards, we don't start with the trail leg. We don't bring our legs together because it would make us unbalanced, give an opportunity to get knocked over. So when we take a step forward, we lead with that lead leg, steps forward, rear leg follows. When we're going backwards, back leg goes first, front leg follows, same for left and right. Left, right, boom. Notice how the space in between the legs stays the same, right, just getting a little bit wider, aiding that balance, not taking away from that balance, and I can stay nice and centered in my stance. Now, another thing you can do is kind of roll those hands, right, roll those hands, carry the rhythm, carry the timing, Keep that guard up high 
and we're going to talk about the measuring jab. The measuring jab comes just from the arm. We're not twisting through the shoulders. We're not putting the body weight behind it. We're not trying to do damage. We're just trying to set up our shots. Everything you build out of your combos and out of your routines is going to be based on range, right? We have to make sure that what we're throwing is going to make contact. So the way we find and set up that range is with the jab. Shout out to Reed Bick Rickman. Thank you for being here. So when you're in your Muay Thai stance and you're nice and balanced or moving forwards and backwards, without twisting through the shoulders, I want you to just toss that front hand forwards, just nice and light, boom, boom, nice and light, nice and quick, and you can toss it at any time. We're gonna use this as a measuring tool. And ideally, the more you use it, the more comfortable you'll be able to be with it, and the more opportunity you're gonna give yourself to set up a nice killer combo. So today we're gonna be tossing it as we move forwards and backwards, we're tossing that measuring jab. Once we visualize that we've made contact, Suddenly we're going to be in range to unleash our combos. So from there we're going to twist through for a cross, twist back for a jab. We could toss a knee in there. We can rotate through for some hooks. There's so many different things we can do. We'll build up some combos around that. And we're going to talk about the difference between the step in for the jab, the roll down, boom, and the parry and jab as well. A lot of different options just using that lead hand and a lot of combos that we can flow out of there. We'll also, like I mentioned before, be doing some defense. We'll break that down as we get into it. The, le uh, uh, the lesson will get slowly more complex as we go, as we grow together. Remember, push at your pace, at your level. If there's something you're super uncomfortable with, modify. Modify it to your level. You can always modify the volume of punches, the power behind those punches, and the speed at which you're throwing those punches to bring that intensity down, level down to your level. And when you're moderating the speed, find that balance. Find where you can stay balanced and stay in control. That way you can continue to grow. We're not here to compete with each other. We've got to compete with ourselves so we can see that growth. And if we compete with others, we wind up burnt out, right? We're here to set a standard every day for ourselves. And it's based on this present moment. So tune into you. See how you're feeling. I'm going to grab water because that's super important and I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Make sure you got water as well. Just a tiny bit of water left for me today. But let's get into this martial arts for mental health lesson. We'll have our standard rounds. Three rounds, three minutes each. One minute breaks in between to catch your breath, drink some water, check in on yourself, make sure you're doing all right. And then we're going to continue on. Three rounds total. We'll have the fighting spirit of the 80s coming through our sweet retro synth boombox as we practice these combos and that measuring jab. So let's do it. Let's get it together. And there it is. That's our daily beat. You can find all our beats for free on Spotify. SacLifeOfficial.com is the artist to raise awareness. Feel free to share and add them to a playlist. All right, back into stance. Let's do this thing. Muay Thai stance. Guard up high by the brow line, right? Fingers closed, thumbs tucked. Roll those fists as you shift that weight forwards and backwards. Now, I want you guys to start with just a little shuffling forwards and backwards. Practice moving one foot at a time and keeping those hands up high. Chin tucked, keep yourself in balance, keep yourself in form, get closer and further away. Now we're gonna start adding in the measuring jab. As we move forwards, as we move further away, we're gonna start tossing that measuring jab in there. So step in, step in as we toss that jab, step back, step back as we toss that jab. We can use that measuring tool as we're moving. Boom, boom, just measure, 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 right? We need to any time to set up those shots. Once we have it, once we've made contact, now we have access, we can roll through, put some power behind it for a power jab, or we can link in the rest of those combos. But for now, keep that forwards and backwards movement going and work that little measuring jab in there, not from the shoulders, just toss that jab out. Visualizing that opponent. Now we're gonna visualize making contact with that depression dummy right here, and now we wanna deliver some power, right? So once we step in with that measuring jab and we've made contact, 
And now we want to twist through the shoulders and the hips, rotating on the ball of the foot, and put some power behind that jab for a quick pop right to the chin. Boom. And then back into stance. Let's do it. Back to square one. Square up with that opponent. Step forward. She's a measuring jab. Doesn't come from the shoulders. Doesn't come from the hips. Right? It's just a measuring jab, nice and short. Made contact. Now we're going to twist. <laughs> Twist through the shoulders and hips, rotate on the ball that front foot for a powerful jab, and then rotate back to square, back to stance. Square up, measure, 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 measure. Made contact, twist, boom. Twist through the shoulders and hips, deliver that powerful jab, and back to stance. We're gonna build it up, let's do jab cross now. Measure, measure, measure. Made contact, twist through for the jab, follow up with the cross and then rotate back to stance. Turning those fists over, driving those knuckles forward into that chin by that depression dummy. Remember, visualize it as you move. Continue to throw that measuring jab. Mark your distance. Once you make contact, twist through, twist through again. Exhale hard on those strikes and back to stance. You don't have to throw the measuring jab every time. If you can visualize yourself getting further away, might not be a good idea to throw it. Save some energy. This time, as you approach, as you get closer, you're gonna start throwing that measuring jab when you think you're close to range. Boom, boom, just test that guard, get that guard up. As you step in, you make contact, twist through, twist through, and back to stand, square up. Let's go, measure, 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 made contact, twist, twist, and back, square it up. It's the end of round one, catch your breath, drink some water. We're gonna get more complicated as we grow together in the next round. We're gonna start adding in a three hit combo after we make contact with that measuring jab. We're gonna start working on horizontal movement as well with that measuring jab. And we'll throw in some other combos in there also. Maybe working a little defense on the way. Make sure you are staying hydrated. Make sure you're breathing in the nose, out the mouth, and avoiding signs of overreaching. Dizziness, lightheadedness, seeing spots, or nauseousness in the stomach, all signs of overreaching. You wanna dial that intensity back. Mm. All right, about 18 seconds in this next one. We're gonna square back up in Muay Thai position. We're gonna use that measuring jab. Remember, don't twist through for the measuring jab. Just twist through when you wanna put some power behind it. So square up with that visualized dummy. Five seconds, here we go. Moving, working on that movement as well. Keeping those feet balanced as you move forwards and backwards, right? Weight on the ball of the foot. Knees are slightly bent to keep the weight on that ball. Nice and balanced. Everything squared out and centered. Measure, measure, measure. Made contact. Twist through for the one. Twist through for the two. And then twist through for a three. Each time we rotate for the lead hand, we're going to rotate on the lead foot. Rear hand rotates on the rear foot. And then again, boom. Lead hand rotate on that lead foot again. Back to stand. Square up. Measure. Measure as you get closer. Measure once you make contact. Twist, twist, twist. And back to square one. Square it up. And we're going to start working horizontal movement here. To the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, right, right, left, left. Now we're going to start measuring as we move. Visualizing that opponent, right? Measure as you sink in to that step. That's going to add some power if you need it. If you need to toss a jab, doing it on the sink is gonna add some power and rotation into that strike. So measure, 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 measure. We're gonna visualize that opponent coming in and now he's within range. So stepped in, measured, he's within range. We're gonna twist through the shoulders, twist, twist, and square it up, back to stance. Let's work that horizontal movement. One, two, three, made contact. Twist, 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 back to stance, square up. Two, three, measure, visualize that opponent, make contact, one, two, three, and back to stand, square up, work on that horizontal movement, one foot at a time, whichever direction you're going, that's the foot that's leading, stay nice and squared, right, toss those measuring jabs in there as you go, one, visualize that opponent, make contact, twist, 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 back to square, Square up and keep it moving. Measure, 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 measure. Contact, boom, boom, boom. Back to stand, square it up. Measure, measure, measure. Measure made contact. 
Three strike combo, back to stance, let's go. Exhale hard on those strikes, and now mix it up. Start working in the forwards and the, the horizontal, forwards and backwards, horizontal movement as well. And use that measuring jab, measure that distance, right? Visualize that opponent coming in, and when you get in range, fire off that one, two, three combo. Let's do it. Really picture it, picture doing damage to that depression dummy's face. As we get stronger, it gets weaker every day. Measure, measure, you're just waiting for your opportunity to strike. Let's go. And square up, back to stance. Three hit combo on contact. Three, boom, back to stance. Keep the movement going. When you make contact, hit him with that three hit combo. Back to stance and that's the end of round two. Catch your breath, drink some water. Again, we're here to compete with ourselves. So if it feels like I'm going too slow for your skill level, pick that pace up, throw some more combos in there. You've got time, you can make this your own. You can visualize it, you can have fun with it. Woo. Giving yourself a challenge, make sure you can give yourself an opportunity to grow. And not working too hard, we'll make sure you can continue to flow and do this on the daily. So on the next one, this will be our final round. We're gonna work in some defensive strat as well with some leg checks. Bring the knee up to the inside of the elbow, boom, to check those kicks, angling the body towards the direction that we believe a kick will be coming in. So we'll use that measuring jab again to get ourselves in distance and set up our combo, but this time, we're gonna visualize that opponent, that depression dummy, as launching a roundhouse kick, boom to stop us, right? Roundhouse is one of our longer range weapons, so it would make sense. They would use a longer use a longer range weapon when we're getting in close, when we're trying to get in that striking range. So go ahead and square up with your visualized dummy. And as you step in with the measuring jabs, right here we're in, we're in that zone, we're in the strike zone, but we're gonna visualize, we're gonna imagine that depression dummy is launching an attack, a roundhouse kick to our side. What do we do for roundhouses? We shell up. Bringing that knee up to the inside of the elbow and angling the body to deflect the kick. Back to stance, square up. We're going in with the measuring jab, boom. We're in range, but he's tossing a kick. Shell up and deflect that kick. Use the brunt of your shin, angle it in towards that roundhouse kick and deflect it. Once you deflect it with the check, step in and finish up your combo. One, two, three, to the chin. Back to square, move along. Measure, 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 measure. We're in range, check the kick. One, two, three, and back out. Get out of there, work that measuring tool. Let's do it together with that shadow boxing, with those shadow boxing skills, working on that depression dummy. Getting closer, getting further away, we're moving around. We're checking that distance without twisting through the shoulders, right? Just finding that opportunity. Bam, we're in range. Visualize that attack coming in. Bring the knee up to the inside of the elbow. Bam, and guard, there's your shell. Bam, deflected. One, two, three. Back to stance, square up. Visualize and measure, let's go. Keep your eye on that target. Keep moving with him. Boom, boom, as you move around, you're getting in range, he's launching the attack. Check, one, two, three. Rotate right out of that check. As you put the foot down, twist right on through. Let that foot preload, boom, that jab for you. Twist through, one, two, three, and square back up. Let's go, measure, measure, measure. We're getting closer, we're in range. Block that attack, three hit retaliation. Back to stance, and keep it moving. Measure, 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 measure. We're in range, block, boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, back to stance, square up. Visualize that depression dummy's face and knock those lies right out of it. Let's go, measure, 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 block, and square up, keep it square. Let's keep it centered this time, practice that block, block, and back to stance, block, and back to stance, square up, block, back to stance, and square, hips and shoulders square. Let's go, three hits to the face of that dummy. Square up, three more. Square up, three more. Back in and check that kick. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Check it and fire. Back to square. Back to square. Back to square. Bring that knee up fast. 
Square it up. And that is the end of round three. I hope you pushed to your level. I hope you got a little bit of a sweat going there, elevated that heart rate, got it up into the training zone. If you didn't, if you didn't get that high intensity release, that, whew, that can be so vital. Please do give yourself a bonus round, whether it's on the heavy bag, whether it's with a bob, or it's out there in a martial arts studio or a gym. Give yourself a bonus round to challenge you to your level. That way you can see that growth every single day. Ooh. I hope you found room for technical improvement out here as we develop new skills and continue to unlock new avenues for growth together. And one more time, congrats to Lisa the Luminary for a full year of progress and success. I'm proud of you, Lisa. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you for being a luminary out here in my life as well as others. And until next time, I'll catch you guys. Same sack time, same sack channel. Same sack life. Sack man out. Whew.